Last month, the Duke of Sussex, 37, spoke candidly about a number of topics during an interview with the Today's Show anchor Hoda Kotb while in the Netherlands. Among the topics discussed were Harry and Meghan Markle's life away from the firm and also the Invitus Games, a sporting event launched by the Duke in 2014. Harry also revealed details about a surprise face-to-face -face meeting he and his wife had with the Queen prior to arriving in The Hague for the Games. The Duke said he and his grandmother shared a special relationship and talk about things that she can't talk about with anybody else. He described Her Majesty as being in great form, before adding, She's always got a great sense of humor with me and I'm just making sure she's protected and got the right people around her. His statements were widely criticized as people questioned the meaning of Harry's words and whom the monarch needed protection from. However, royal author Tina Brown claims a lot of people in the royal family, without specifying who this might have been, thought, well, actually she needs protecting from you, Harry. Ems Brown, the author of The Palace Papers, Inside the House of Windsor, The Truth and the Turmoil claims that this is because Harry keeps launching hand grenades at the firm. The biographer made the comment when referring to speculation that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could return to their roles as senior royals in the future. She told BBC Radio 4's Today programme there will be an effort to somehow reel them back in at a certain point, however she claims this would not happen right now. Ems Brown claims this is largely because Harry keeps lobbing these fresh hand grenades at the family, just when they're beginning to think well, can we re-establish some trust with the House of Sussex? This can be perceived as a nod toward the bombshell allegations made by Harry and Meghan during their infamous interview with Oprah Winfrey which aired last March. The couple made a series of seismic claims about their time as senior members of the firm. Buckingham Palace released a statement in the aftermath saying that recollections may vary and that issues raised by the couple would be addressed privately. Ems Brown's comments could also refer to Harry's upcoming memoir set to be released later this year. According to Penguin Random House, the book will see the Duke share, for the very first time, the definitive account of the experiences, adventures, losses, and life lessons that have helped shape him. There has been speculation that the book could see the prince make further claims about his time as a royal. In a statement at the time of announcing the memoir, Harry said, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. He added, I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from we have more in common than we think. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from royal duties in 2020, a move which saw them relocating to America. The couple now reside in Meghan's home state of California with their two children, two-year-old Archie and Lilibet, who celebrates her first birthday in June. Meghan and Harry's trip to see the Queen at Windsor last month marked the first time the couple have returned to Britain together since stepping bar.